Hello everybody, welcome back for another episode of Metroid Zero Mission. In the last episode, we beat Ridley and we got the screw attack. This time, we're gonna see how many, uh, extra secret stuff we can get. Like missile tanks and whatnot. I'm pretty much all missile tanks. I hate those things. It wasn't clearly obvious. Uh, I don't think you can backtrack through this. Uh, oh. Okay, yeah, that's fair. Ah, it's this speed booster area. Ugh! Oh my god! Yeah, is it hard to me? Is if it's hard to believe? Uh, I play even worse at Metroid with the screw attack. Can I break through these with screw attack? No, I just broke it. <laughs> That's fine. Right. Oh, get in there! I'm gonna crack open into this strawberry watermelon, and that was really fizzy. Jesus. Delicious. Absolutely delicious. I would show it on Reaper Tries, but guess what? I already know what it tastes like, so... Kinda busted. Myth kinda busted. Uh, how did I get this item? I guess I did. <laughs> I mean, there you go, there's a short answer for you. I got it because I did. Oh god, come on! Oh, it's this? Oh, it's this area. I did this earlier. Freaking sucks. Why am I doing this? I can go back up, right? Oh, you can jump up from this one. Okay. Alright, fuck it. We may as well just go in for another heal. Give me another sip. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, okay, here we go. That's what I was looking for. Whoop, come you! Right, so how many more come-ups do we have in this area? Uh, there's one over there. So that's what I'm just gonna try to get. Oh, rippers. I have not seen rippers in a while. I've seen, like, the anti-rippers. How do you get up there? Okay. You just gotta go through here and pray. Okay! Uh, speaking of praying... Actually, this room's a dead end, so fuck me. Okay. I mean, I don't mean for the series to end so fast. I mean... It feels like yesterday I just started this series, but I guess that's just what happens, man. Some series are shorter than you ever realize. Because, like, you're like, cool, a Metroid game! This is gonna go on for, like, 20, 30 episodes. Mm-mm. This one ain't gonna go on for 20, 30 episodes. Why do they put a freaking sewer missile door here? Is that people don't backtrack? I mean, that's ridiculous. Pe let people make the mistake, man. I think that's right as you get the speed booster. Right? Yeah, look at this place. It's so familiar. Alright, I'm saving right now so I have full health. And also, I got lost here. <laughs> or actually, no, I got lost in Crade's Lair. What am I talking about? See, I did not... I did not save. This area is infinitely harder with the screw attack. Just saying. Basically, if you don't make sure your jumps are absolutely perfect, you have to start the whole thing over. Alright! Are, 
are you That's one point of health. I'm not gonna sit through a whole Birdman thing just because of one point of... Mmm... Despawn. Wow, yeah, I actually have to leave the room and come back because of that. I wish I could just go over there. You know, I have to leave. That was bullshit. That is some hardcore bullshit. But basically, just let me tell you. The screw attack, as in attack. There we go. It's it's good, clean fun. Ah! Oh, but like that, you want a puzzle done? You jump, screw attack, kill the enemy. All because you did not hit the jump button first. You wanted to orient your jump the right way? <laughs> oh wow. How was I that stupid to not see that missile tank? Alright. Whatever. We're gonna be leaving Norfair soon. I hope to get some of these come ups in these areas. Oh, there's our super missile room down there? Alright, I guess we're going all the way down the shaft. Never mind, we're not leaving soon. Because I feel there's a bonus in that area. Oh, but this is speed booster. Th am I back in the same room again? Oh no, it's this area. Oh shit. Oh. Ah, oh, okay. Now I get you. Aha! Two come ups for the price of one. There you go. Plus, this will help a lot when I get to Mother Brain. Because freaking Mother Brain always destroys my life. Oh, by one inch! Alright, go through here, blast through this door, go through in this room. Wait. Boop. Loop. Why can I destroy these? I remember in the original Metroid, it's even more frustrating with these breakaway blocks. Ah. Okay. Ugh. Just give me the give me the missile tank. I'm getting wombo comboed. This is not funny. Wow, this area is completely new. I've never seen this before. So there we go. I'm learning new things. How do you need to get the speed booster? Oh my god, that is absolutely insane. Oh. No! You have to break. How the fuck are you meant to do this shit? There's no way I can't figure that shit out. It's a super missile tank, so I can't refuse it. If only screw attack worked like the space jump in the later games. Like, honestly, I feel like that's the, the unknown item that I have left in the uh, miscellaneous is the space jump. Oh! God, how do you do that? There's no way. You actually can't do that. That's impossible. Unless you jump instantly after. Because the only way to get past those breakaways. Oh. 
And that is some frame timing. That is some ridiculous frame timing. So, uh, we're never gonna get to Torian? <laughs> That's just, just, to, just accept that fact? Ugh! Yeah, because I feel like I could grab the ledge if I go instantly out of Morphal. Okay. So, uh, I'm just gonna put a save state here, because, honestly... Okay. No! Oh, I almost had it! Oh, you tricky bitches! If you just destroy the top one... Oh, okay, now I get you. I got you, fam. How do you shine spark? I don't know how you shine spark. Not even a bother. I'm gonna find a bird man anyway. And bird men solve all your problems. So hopefully by the end of the episode we get to see some gosh dang Metroids for once. Yeah. Take it in. It's a Metroid game where Metroids aren't all over the place. Ain't that a sight to withhold. So somehow I speed booster through those, but not anything else. Uh, how am I down here? Okay, that's how you get through. Okay, so now we're gonna get the come up stuff in a uh, Brinstar. Okay, so jumping auto cancels. So how the friggity frag do you shine spark? I don't know. I don't think I'm gonna need Shine Sparking unless it's for, um, come-ups. So we gotta hit up the save. It's not gonna heal you because, of course, they don't. All right. There you go. There's probably some stuff in Kraid's Lair I could get, but, uh, I don't care. I don't care enough about Kraid's Lair to go right back there. It hurt me too much. Oh, didn't they have one for bombs? No, they don't have power bombs. There we go. Okay. Wow, oh, the screw attack just vaporizes those things. So where can I go? Alright, I can go over here. I can go over there for a come up. Over to the left for one. Oh, jeez, it's not these things. Oh, I'm immune to acid. Okay. So I shouldn't be that hate hateful. Okay. I still never re-access that save room. These two next episodes might just be mega-sized. Because, uh... Alright. Yeah, I just never went through this door. I may as well just save in here, just so that we're in Brinstar, because I don't want to go through all the way through Norfair if something bad happens. So, whatever. I love popcorn. Hey, 
Is there just one more super missile tank? If it's in Crane's Lair, then fuck it. No point. No point. Won't even bother. There we go. Healing me up, Birdman. Oh wait, it's this regular missile tank that I never grabbed. For some reason, I never grabbed it. I could have just grabbed it in the episode, but I didn't. <laughs> okay, there we go. I finally repaired my stupidity. Alright, so then I'll just go up and then down to get that last come up. And then after that, I'll just go get Tor- I'll just go to Turian. Tor Torian. So I guess the other two are in either Cradesley or Criteria, but guess what? Don't care. <laughs> Don't care enough! Oh, you have to go to that room. Okay. Makes sense. Actually makes sense. <sighs> Rippers. Fuck Ripper jumping. Not gonna do it. I had a plan, but then I realized the plan was absolutely fucking bullshit. So... So I'm just gonna not follow that plan and go instead with a different one. Which involves me backtracking through the same area again. <laughs> I mean, it's a little monotonous, but hey, it gets the job done. Actually, I could get past that room if I was so inclined, which I guess I am inclined. I could be a recline. I could be. A I could be reclined, which by that logic would allow me to be a recliner. Well, well, broken logic at its finest. All right. Oh, these rooms are just next to each other. God damn it. Never mind, I have to go through stupid freaking stupid thing, thing land. My commentary is getting so terrible, it's not even funny. And then... So yeah, now this is not the... F Ugh. Can I, uh, say this without, you know, busting my brain? Uh, this is not the finale. Uh, just letting you know this in mind. This isn't like Castlevania 3, where I'm like, Hey, it's the finale! Totally forgets that, you know, the level he's looking at is not the last level. And I'm like, fudge! No, um, there is a whole nother after-game portion to this. Which, you know... If you like Smash Bros, Smush Bros, Smush Bros, then uh, you'll know that this game is where a certain other version of Samus comes from. But I'm not going to spoil it <coughs> for those who uh, have not played this game. Which, if you're watching this far into a game that you haven't played and not played it, go play it. <laughs> Unless you really, really don't care about the source. All right. And play this or even the original. I don't recommend playing the original Metroid because by today's standards, that game is f fucking unplayable. But, you know, whatever. Uh, oh, there's an E tank. How is that? How is that possible? Uh, I feel like I have to redo this. So I just hop into this room, and I feel like that's gonna be a save state thing. Okay, I already fucked it up. Come at me! Grabbed it. Energy tank! Oh, there's two rows! Okay, uh, could I go up? Oh, I would go up to Criteria. Okay, fuck it, not even gonna bother. Alright, whatever, at least I have a whole shite load of energy now for when I get to Torian. So, whatever. Alright, so now I have spent 20 minutes just doing this. So now I have to go through the entirety of Torian and kill Mother Brain in one episode. I mean, I could just cut it here. I mean, I could just make this the come up episode, but, you know. I'm not a douche. You know. I don't know. Either thing would be douchey, so. You know. Fuck. Alright, it's fine. I healed myself. Grab some missiles while I'm at it. Guess what? Don't, can't carry any more missiles.
Didn't even have to use my right hand to kill that dude. I was that good. Not doing this right. Oh, oh, I'm actually going in the right direction. Cool. Shit. 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 What are you guys? What are you guys doing up there? <laughs> Not you guys. I mean, those enemies. There you go. It is time to go to Torian. I will save state for this. I'm pretty sure. Bleh. And Torian. Oh, hey, it's the opening for Super Metroid. I'm not a Zabazian. Please tell me I don't have to fight Zabazians. I'm pretty sure there's just Renkas and. Okay, there's a save room. Thank God there's a save room. In the original game, you would have to do Torian all in one shot. That shit is borderline impossible. Okay. I just wanted to find if you could do something there, but I guess not. Oh, jeez. It looks like you have to fight Zabezians. Ugh. Yeah, Zabezians are some of my least favorite enemies in the Metroid series. Oh no, the oh those are Renka generators. Okay. Yeah, I know at least what Renkas are. Yeah, Torian is easily the No. No! Fuck the shit out of missiles. Yeah, you're gonna have to grind a lot in Torian. Like, if you're running low on supplies. You're gonna be crying for supplies when you're done with this area. <gasps> Shit. Shit. Metroids are scary. Metroids in this game and in the original are scary. Like, you don't expect them to be that scary. You know, you're like, it's a Nintendo game. How scary? It couldn't be scary. Nuh uh. Nope! Get off me. Nope! Get off! Alright, I got 15 missiles for the price of five. Swear to God. Okay. No! I hate this world. I hate it. Oh, Jesus! Yeah, all it takes are two enemies to get me riled up in this level. Jesus! Well, I mean... Fuck! God, I keep bouncing into this goddamn me- I keep bouncing into this Metroid. I keep bouncing into it. And then once I get one off, the other just gets on me. Yeah, I have to have a Birdman by the end of this. There's no way in hell you could beat this without a Birdman to help you. Okay, they're green Rinkas. I don't know why someone can be green, but they are. That should be a bird man. Just, just a random bird man, just chilling. You should just tell you where Mother Brain is. All I want is a bird man. I'm ready to in this area. Oh, that's what you can do. Cool. Uh, so there's a little tip. You can just uh, find a green Rinka generator and abuse those to your heart's content. So now if I load the save if I die, which 
Should not be very plausible because I have seven full E tanks. You know. Goes without saying. Okay. I know there's gonna be Metroids in this room. Alright! Honestly, at this point, fuck trying to kill them. Nope! Nope. No. No, get off! Get off! Metroid. Metroid. Samus was just loitering around. Just waiting for the thing. Do you have to kill. You have to kill all the Metroids in this room. Why do you want me to do that? One? Oh my god. Oh. These things do not stay frozen for long. Okay, I can proceed. This is the last of Torian before it's over. I know it is. Why does it look like I can go down? Oh, okay. Oh! No! Get off. No, get off! I said get off! No, not a second one! Now where am I? Now where am I? Shit. Okay, there. Fuck you. Urgh. I don't think Metroids respawn. If they respawn, I'm gonna be so pissed off. Okay, they don't respawn, thank God. I think in the original, though, they did respawn, and it was a nightmare, because you would just have to fight Metroids constantly. Okay, there, I grinded. And I don't need to save states from here on out unless there's a, a save room nearby Mother Brain, which I doubt. So whatever. Okay, so I went through all of that, meaning this door should be open. Okay, there is a save room. I think this is right before Mother Brain, or there's like a little portion before Mother Brain. But, I don't know yet. We've been playing for almost 30 minutes, so I guess it's not that bad. Oh, this is definitely before Mother Brain. Okay. I know there's a Metroid coming. Or not. I just need one thing of missiles before I leave. Okay, give me seven for all I care. Let's go. Ah, I hate... I don't like this fight. Arr. You have to blow pretty much all of your, half your missiles. Here's the problem. It's so hard to get out of the lava if you fall in. These guns and the Rinkas will keep you in the lava. For as long as they see fit. See, look at this. I've wasted almost three E-Tanks just trying to get to Mother Brain. Which I got to her. But then there's the matter of actually fighting Mother Brain. 
Because in the original, she did jack shit. Because, you know, it was an NES game. You know, they probably didn't think a lot about... Just, oh, uh, it's so tedious! And then you get knocked around so hard. And I swear she has more health than she did originally. And it gets to a point where she will attack you, like, the millisecond you get on a platform. Like, look at this! These things are psychic. They're know where, they know where I'm going. Like, I'm gonna die. I'm dead. Yeah, I'm dead. I know this might be cheating, but all I all I'm doing is just minimalizing the amount of time I have to walk. Because literally it's the same thing over and over and over. It's just would you really want me to walk all the way through the same area over and over? Okay, I didn't get bodied hardcore on that on these few. Okay. Alright, round two, this time with a buttload more health. And I started the fight a whole lot quicker. So I have a good feeling about this run. Or these bullets! Dear God! I'm about to lose two E-tanks because I can't... Once I get a clear shot at her, I get hurt. I get hurt immediately as I have a clear shot. Like, it's absolutely ridiculous. Look at this shit! I can't fight her because these guns are straight psychic. Like, the- Oh, can I screw attack the bullets? <laughs> I never thought to screw attack the bullets! That doesn't make any gosh dang sense at all! I mean, the Rinkas, yeah, that makes sense, because they're an enemy. Like, really? No! No! No, let me up! I have really bad memories with this boss. Really bad memories. I can't get up. I can't get up. The game's not letting me up. The game's not gonna let me up. It's hard to just- hey, You can't stay up! The game just keeps knocking you down over and over and over and over and over. And then you finally get a good good few clean shots in, and then it knocks you down again and again and again. And they don't they don't give you any power-ups during that fight. During the fight. Like during the fight against Mother Brain, you'd think they'd give you like health and other stuff. No! No no no! Of course they don't! You have to do this all on your one set of missiles, your one set of E-tanks, your one set of everything, and you have to you have to hope and pray. And guess what? They think I'm getting too angry. I understand this is a remaster or a remake, but... Ugh. Why? Why did you have to take something that I could do very easily in the original? And make it so frustrating. Oh, Jesus.
That gun kept shooting me. Alright, I think I got it this time. No! No. No. Yeah! Self-destruct mechanism activated. Guess what? I've got safe states on my side. Alright, so this area is just a two-minute jump fest. Where you, uh... Oh, they made him... made him falling in this game? Alright. Whatever. I mean, it's not like the escape sequence in Super Metroid where these stupid things would knock you around while you're trying to make the climb. Alright. There we go. And we're done. Criteria. I feel like they stick a secret in here just because they, like, just because they hate you. It's like, you want that 100% completion bonus? Go down here. F that, I'm not that sadistic. Get in the ship and go away. So she does this. And dies. Well, okay, she's not dead, but you know. Somehow. The enemy... The timing of my, state, my escape couldn't have been any worse. I was attacked by space pirates and left nearly defenseless, stripped my power suit. All I had for my protection was my rather useless emergency pistol. Infiltrating the space pirate mothership so armed I may have been foolish, but I had no other choice. I added an other because I felt like it. Could I survive long enough to escape? Well, you know what? That's what we're going to be doing for the finale. If you let me play the game. An auto-charging pistol. Stun enemies with charge shots. Show Zodia. So, anyway. I'll see you all next time. Only you can prevent forest fires.